48-37. Lisbon leading Columbiana as we welcome you back. Chad Prispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Live at the home of the Blue Devils. ITCL white tier action. And again, a Columbiana victory tonight will seal up an outright ITCL white tier title. Lisbon in third place entering the night. Latonia in second place. Blue Devils don't want that to happen here. You never want that type of celebration on your home floor. The first three or four minutes are crucial for not only Lisbon but Columbiana to set the tone, set the pace, try to lock them up a little bit more defensively to try to cut into this lead. Olstrom picked up the foul for Lisbon. Here's Maslowski whipping it back outside the three-point line. Great take. No good from Rovnak. And the ball is out of bounds. And will belong to Columbiana. Just underway here in the third quarter. Clipper ball. It's Fulham. Fulham facing up on Pisano. Fulham whips it back outside Maslowski. Just inside the three-point line. Cross. Feeding Maslowski for three. Around and it rattles out. And it's going to be an over-the-back call against Tessa Liggett of Columbiana. And that's the look that they wanted, Chad. Maslowski with the three, not able to get it. But Liggett doing the right thing, trying to create some extra opportunities because Lisbon right now doing a pretty good job of breaking their pressure and not getting the turnovers they normally get. But there's one there. Clippers force the turnover, running the break. Maslowski to the line, to the lane, puts it up. Good defense in transition. Ball out of bounds. It'll go back to Lisbon with 7.04 left in the third. Lisbon not giving anything easy. Mason does a great job of contesting without fouling there. Ball knocked out of bounds by Kennedy Fulham of Columbiana. Another deflection by Columbiana but they don't get the turnover. Sometimes you just keep it in those deflections, those lead to the turnovers and a little frustration. But right now, Lisbon very much under control. Alexa Bell, a little block, fights it up. It won't go. She'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. It'll be Tessa Liggett called for the personal. That is her second. So now one team foul on Lisbon, two against Columbiana. For as, for as much contact as there have been, not a lot of contact uh, on that call. I think Coach Michelle agrees with that one. I think I'm in his camp, too, with that call. Free throw up, and good. So Bell makes it a 12-point ball game at 49-37 by my count, largest lead of the ball game for Lisbon. Here's Rovnak losing the handle, and the ball trickles out of bounds. And it's going to stay right here with the Clippers. And right now, Columbiana just looks a little disoriented in their half-court offense. And when you're a team and you play that type of up-tempo, you know, sometimes you're not used to sitting in the half-court and we see another turnover. And so sometimes you, you've got to create and get a couple easy buckets to get you back into that momentum and get you some of those turnovers. But Lisbon not giving them those easy ones right now. Mackenzie Mason works it ahead to Bell. Bell, now Mason. Mason has been very athletic for a post. And she fights that one up and in. Another great job by Mason slowing down. Like you said, patient, under control, athletic, knocks it in. Gives them a 51-37 lead. Liggett into the corner, Fulham. There's another turnover into the hands of Pisano. Pisano feeding it ahead of the pack, off the glass, it won't go. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Maslowski of Columbiana. Over the time stripe into the fourth court, outside the three-point line. Maslowski bouncing it to Cross. Cross cut off at the baseline. They work it into the corner to Liggett. Triple try, air ball, cleaned up, and stuck back up and in. Plus the foul, it's Alexis Cross. I think Cross is going to play a pretty big role in this game. She seems to have a knack for the ball, nose for the ball, 
always kind of in the right place, right time. 14th point of the night, headed to the free throw line where she's two for two. So again, she's gonna be that one that's gonna get those 50-50 balls, those extra possessions, and try to claw Columbia back into this. 51-39, off the miss, cleaned up, and put in off the window. Kennedy Fuller makes it a 10-point contest. This is Mason running the floor, lowers the shoulder, and puts it up and in. Mason running the floor, running the break, and the finish. Fulham. Up and in! Plus the foul. Ron Michella wants... I think he's got a pretty good gripe here. I think he's got a pretty good gripe, Chad. That was a hard foul. Here, we'll get a look at it here. And you're going to see right here. I'm not sure that there's really any intent uh, to harm, but that's a pretty aggressive foul right there. Foul is called on Mackenzie Mason. That call could have been either way right there. And right now, Coach Michella, but I love the effort by Mason and that just tenacity of not letting anything easy go through. 5.14 left, timeout on the floor. We will keep it here, here's another look at it. And there's another look from the outside. Again, she's making sure this doesn't go in. And I think there was a little contact on the head. I think Coach Michella definitely has an argument with the intentional foul right there. So again, you know, anytime that you get those type of calls, you've got to make sure you regroup, all your players get under control. But what a great job by both teams to keep the composure. But we didn't expect anything else, Chad, and this lead is now down to 10. If they can get this to win five or six within the quarter, Columbia will be right where they need to be. 53-43 is our score. 5-14 left to play. Kennedy Fulham trying to complete the end one and cut it to single digits, and she does. 53-44, eight points for Fulham. Here comes some of that pressure for Columbiana. Double, dribble, turnover, back to Columbiana. We talk about it all the time, Chad. We talk about teams, and they get these spurts, and usually it's that defense, that intensity, that leads to offense, that leads to turnovers. 5.09 left in the third. Ball is tracked down by Cross. Into the corner. It is Rovnak. Rovnak, now Fulham, facing up. Fulham puts it up. Off the rim, no good. Rebound ripped down by Mackenzie Mason. Izzy Perez controlling things at the point, taking it baseline. Off balance shot, no good. But the ball is out of bounds, and it is going to stay here off Columbiana. And we've been in this situation before right now where Columbiana ha has gotten closer. They've gotten themselves back into this ball game. But then Lisbon is able to respond. We're going to see if Columbiana is still able to keep the pressure on and make it difficult and contest shots. Pisano has her pocket pick. Good defense by Mariah Rovnak. Jump ball and the possession arrow. Points the way of the Clippers. Hey, this gets you fired up, Chad. I love the tenacity and just the aggressiveness of both teams. And I'm sure they're taking a little bit of Coach Michelle's personality here. There's never say die. And they're really getting after it right now. Bounce pass to the elbow. It is cross. Pocket picked. Long lob down the floor. Intercepted at the other end. Rovnak pushing it up the floor. Giving it to Fulham. Thought about the three. Fulham feeds to the free throw line. Cross fires and hits. And there's Cross again, leading this charge, getting them back in it, able to get into their pressure, maybe create a little havoc and speed up this pace. 53-46, 14 for Cross. Rovnak on the floor again, ahead to Maslowski, who fights it up and in. Maslowski, the recipient, Rovnak, Cross, they're getting after it defensively. 53-48, my oh my, what a ball game it has been. Chloe Smith feeds it, left low block. Mason draws the foul with 3.38 left to play. Um. 
Back and forth we go. Time out on the floor. We will take one as well. Clippers fighting their way back into this one. The deficit was 12. It's down to five of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Introducing for 2017, the Preston Advantage from Preston Hyundai in Boardman. Purchase a new vehicle from Preston Hyundai and receive a free lifetime engine warranty, free oil changes, free loaner vehicles and car washes for service, and our three-day return and exchange policy. Lease a 2017 Elantra for $179 a month, a Sonata for $199 a month, or a Tucson or Santa Fe Sport for only $299 a month. The Preston Advantage from Preston Hyundai in Boardman. Great food is closer than you think. Take the short drive south on Route 11 to the Lisbon Rogers exit where you'll find the new Shale Tavern and Grill Lisbon. The new Shale Tavern and Grill has a tavern room and grill room, both with beautiful stone fireplaces, a full bar, and a menu to please everyone. Try the tavern salad, haystack onion blossom, ribs, steaks, pasta, and half-pound black Angus burgers or one of the daily specials. The new Shale Tavern and Grill, just off Route 11 in Lisbon, next to the Days Inn. You'll be glad you made the short drive. Has been bouncing around and supporting his Lisbon squad, but even the football folks are here. This has been like a football game with how physical it is, how tenacious it is from both sides. As we welcome you back, Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik with you. It is Mackenzie Mason at the free throw line for Lisbon. As far as the team foul situation, three team fouls per side as Mason puts the first free throw in and that makes it a six-point lead. She has 12 points. You know, and right now, can they stop the bleeding? They got two free throws to get the lead back up to seven. But right now, if you're Columbia, if you've got the momentum, right now you've got to continue to get quality shots, quality looks, finish these so you can get into your press. Mozlowski outside the three-point line. Looking to the elbow, now a skip pass to Cross. Alexis Cross into the corner, Fulham. Baseline jumper up and good. Cross, excellent penetration. Finds Fulham on the baseline. Assist. Easy two. 55 50. Clock ticking down. Allie Davis just does get it across. She feeds it into the corner. It's Bell. They work it around to Allie Davis. Davis feeding Olstrom. Olstrom bouncing it into the corner. Right near that three-point line, here's Pisano, who's had another monster night, nearly has her pocket picked. Here's Olstrom, further into the corner, baseline take, ball out of bounds. Soft Columbiana, and will stay right here as we'll see Matty Liberati check back in. Back in for Ron Michella's Columbiana Clippers, it's Tessa Liggett. And you can see the importance of this possession right now. Lisbon being very patient, wanting to get the look, but Liggett gets the steal and the turnover. Tessa Liggett with the theft. Ball in the hands of Cross. This is Rovnak. Rovnak feeding Maslowski. Fulham has it ricochet off her fingertips. She tracks it down and is fouled. Lisbon foul on Ali Davis. That'll be the fourth team foul. Chloe Smith back in, sitting down as Ali Davis. That'll be number two on Davis. And here we go. Rovnak looking, lobbing. It's into Cross. Off the dribble. Cross scoops it up. It won't go, but she'll go to the stripe and shoot two. Cross, the catalyst right now, the junior. Averaging 14 points, eight rebounds a game, and just really putting her team in the right position, stepping in as the leader, and putting people in the right spots, getting to the line here. First free throw is up, and it is short. Two for three. And now three for four. 55, 51 is our score. And the closest we've been in a while, they've got it to four with their pressure. We're going to see if they can keep it here or cut into that huge lead that Lisbon had. 
10 seconds called. Maslowski made that one happen with tremendous energy and hustle on the defensive end. And offensively, Chad, she's been quiet, but this, ha this quarter and this half, she's really been working extremely hard defensively to put pressure on top of that uh, full court zone. Keep in mind, Lisbon at one point held a 12 point lead. It is down to four now. 55 51. You know, you don't get to be undefeated here, Chad, without facing a little bit of adversity. And right now, Columbiana handling it very well. Ball is not free. There's a Lisbon steal. Ahead of the pack, Mason. Line lane, scoops it up and in. A lot of contact down at the other end. Probably bit, could have been called a foul. They don't get it. Mason goes coast to coast with the finish. Fulham, off the dribble. Whips it to the right side, Maslowski. Triple try, short. And the rebound is saved in to Columbiana. It's a roll neck. And that time, Pisano got her fingertips on the pass and knocked it out of bounds as we are inside of 90 seconds left here in the third quarter. 57-51. Both, both teams, Chad, very active defensively. Very close right there. Hold that ball out. You might get the technical. Just got to be careful not deflecting that before it leaves the hand. But just shows you how active and aggressive both teams are. Roll neck. And that was close again. It's out of bounds. It'll stay with Columbiana. <laughs> Coach Michelle barking orders into the air of Mariah Rovnak. Here we go. Fulham over to Liggett. Liggett three dribbles. Fulham facing up, looking down low. And now hands it off to Rovnak as we approach the final minute of the third quarter. Alexis Cross goes off the dribble, feeds Maslowski, who pulls it back out front. Maslowski, Liggett. They feed it to Cross in traffic. Her pass picked off by Perez. Ahead, Carly Pisano puts it up and in. Perez, great job of getting the ball early to Perez so she can get the dribble, be confident, knock it in. High percentage run out. Mariah Romnack scooped it up off the window. It won't go, but she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. The lead is back up to eight for Lisbon with and even 45 seconds remaining on this third quarter clock. By the way, that is personal foul number one on Pisano. First trip to the free throw line for Mariah Romnak, and she canned it. And it's 59-52. Lisbon with a seven-point lead. Clippers trying to cut this to a half dozen. Free throw up and good for Rovnak, who has six points. The Lisbon lead is six. There's Mason, ball nearly ripped away from Perez. She works it across the time stripe into the forecourt, into the court, a three ball, up and good! Picture perfect stroke for Haley Carpenter. You wanna talk about the microwave, she just checked in, ice water knocks it down. 62-53, Fulham off the dribble. Nice take, she put it in. 62-55, ball is into Haley Carpenter. Ahead to Perez, there's a steal by Maslowski, and it is a whistle, and I believe a Lisbon foul on Perez. And that will be team foul number seven, I believe, and that means a chance for Columbiana to cut into this deficit with the clock stopped. Anytime that you can get into the bonus, Early in that third period here, they're gonna have it the rest of the way out, and you can see great hustle by Maslowski to get it, get on the deck, and get to the line. As physical as this game is, could be determined at the foul line. Free throw up, no good. Rebound comes down to Pisano. Three seconds, now two. Ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Lisbon as this clock is down to 1.2 seconds remaining. It is 62-55, Lisbon in the lead as we play things out in the third. Ball is in, Mason trying to beat the buzzer off the mark, and with that, the third quarter is in the books. Eight minutes to play here in Lisbon. We head to the fourth quarter with your score.
Lisbon 62, Columbiana 55. Don't you dare go anywhere. We'll be right back after these words. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You're watching the High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network. Join the celebration Friday, February 17th at the McDonough Museum of Art on the YSU campus for Mad About the Arts, benefiting the McDonough Museum of Art and 88.5 WYSU-FM. Enjoy wine tasting, food sampling, music by the YSU Jazz Ensemble, and dancing to the sensations. Go to WYSU.org for tickets or call 941-1777. Thanks to 33 WYTV, all of our media sponsors, Edward Florist, and these businesses who proudly support Mad About the Arts. Hi, I'm Dylan Radigan. The world is brimming with possibilities. And that keeps me busy. My latest invention may be able to feed and sustain communities around the world. My team and I are always on the go, meeting new people and seeing new places. I produce films that I really care about. It's an honor to speak to audiences around the world. When people come together, meaningful work gets done. How do I do all this? Well, that part's easy. Hotelplanner.com. A message from the Pulaski Law Firm. A government study reports thousands of workers have been diagnosed with asbestos-related mesothelioma. To compensate those affected, asbestos trusts have been established with $30 billion in initial funding. You may be entitled to financial compensation without ever going to court. Act now. Call 1-800-390-9365. 1-800-390-9365. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma, get the best care available. Then call us. Mesothelioma. Don't fight it alone. Hi everyone, John Kufleitner from Salem and Columbiana Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram Trucks. It's January 2017 and it's time to set some new goals. Our goal for 2017 is to sell 2017 new Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram Trucks. It won't be easy, but the lowest price and the highest trade-in is a great place to start. Our Start Something New Sales event and Chrysler 20% off program continues. Select new Ram Trucks, Dodge Charger, Dodge Journey, and Jeep Cherokee. Salem and Columbiana Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram Trucks. And please remember... Tell a friend. Veteran coach Ron Michella and the Columbiana Clippers looking to rally from seven down as we start the fourth quarter. Chad Krasminski, Wilt Klusenik with you. Ball is into Pisano for Lisbon. Mason fights it up. Unable to connect, but she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. Mackenzie Mason has been outstanding here tonight with her not only her shooting ability but also her ability to run the break very athletic player she has 15 points five rebounds 75 percent from the strike tonight and that percentage will go up 63 55 and now 64 55 Across the time stripe into the forecourt, we have a whistle and a reach-in foul. And Haley Carpenter picks up the personal. So to the free throw line, will step Mariah Rovnak. Rovnak misses, rebound, tapped up into the air, and Pisano comes up with the rebound for Lisbon. Tiptoe on the near sideline. Great job right there, not turning it over. Off the dribble. Bell cut off at the baseline. Out to Pisano. Great feed. Chloe Smith, though, was a step off from it. It's a turnover. That will give it back to Columbiana with 7.31 left to play here in the ballgame. Columbiana is going to need to capitalize on some of these turnovers. They'll get open looks. Maslowski's got to get the ball. Starting there at the high post area, looking to attack, possibly get to the free throw line. You know, set some screens. And you got a five second call with the turnover. Five second call has been made. Give it back to Lisbon. With 7.17 remaining in the ball game. Chloe Smith will control. Smith nearly an over and back. 
Near side, Carpenter. Carpenter takes a baseline, raises up. It's no good, but contact on the play, and there's a whistle and another foul on Columbiana. It will be a foul tag to Marissa McDonough. That'll be her second. Free throw up, and the free throw no good for Haley Carpenter. Columbiana goes back to the bench. It's Brittany Mook. So Haley Carpenter, in her first trip to the free throw line, is 0 for 1, trying to split the pair. And she's unable to do it. Off the miss, rebound, fought for, jump ball, and the possession arrow will point the way of the young ladies wearing red. And that's just Bell right there doing her job again, getting the tie up, giving them the possession arrow. Could be very important a little bit later on. Ball is into the hands of Muzlovsky. Off the dribble comes Cross, and Cross drawing the contact. And that's exactly what Coach Michelle had talked about in the timeout. Cross, get the ball at the high post area, attack the rim, draw the contact. And we talk it about uh, all the time, Chad. Get to the free throw line, get points while the clock is stopped. Foul is on Haley Carpenter, wearing number four, picks up number four. She'll head to the bench. Allie Davis and Autumn Ulstrom will check back in for Lisbon. 64-55 is our score. Free throw up, and the free throw is good for Cross. And with 6.46 left to play here in the ballgame, Columbiana will take a timeout. We will keep it here. And this stoppage of play gives us an opportunity to remind you that every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing and will feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenick back with you. Two of the best girls programs in the entire area. The class of the ITCL, really, when you look at what they've been able to accomplish on display. And we're certainly looking forward to bringing you some outstanding basketball action tomorrow night. We've got three games for you this week. We get to hang out a lot, Chad. Certainly. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. Get you those details. Where we're headed tomorrow night in just a little bit. Autumn Olstrom with the ball for Lisbon. 64-56. Pisano all alone. Sticks it up and in. Lisbon has done that all night. Able to look over the top create opportunities for the teammates, and get easy buckets. Mazlovsky slicing to the rack, nearly walked, puts it up, no good. Cross cleans it up and sticks it in. Cross on the spot, understands the importance, gets a second chance opportunity, gives her 18 on the night. Ball is out of bounds, errant pass, turnover. It'll go back to Columbiana with 6-10 left in the contest. And with the way this one is gone, it's far from over just yet. And right now, Columbiana not making a lot from the outside. So they're looking for Cross to attack. They're going to try to get Rovnik here on a little isolation. Unable to get by the defender, but they do have the jump ball. Possession arrow points the way of Lisbon. Back and forth. These two teams are going. Another wasted opportunity by Columbiana. And right now, they've got a trap, they've got to contain, make it difficult, and there's one of their patented steals. Moslovsky leading the charge to the line, to the lane, puts it up, no good. She's going to shoot a couple of free throws, and she's an outstanding free throw shooter. It's Pisano picking up the personal, and that'll be her second. So Moslovsky to the free throw line, where she is two for two. Moslovsky, free throw, up. And good. She had 20 points in the win over Lisbon earlier this season, and she has 20 points now. And she had a lot of those points early. So right now, she's going to have to get it going here, which she does at the free throw line. Six-point lead for Lisbon. It is 66-60. The first meeting ended up 68-62. Perez fights it up and in, plus the foul. And that's a pretty nice job of maintaining your body control 
understanding that there's going to be contact, keeping your chin on the rim, eyes up. Great finish with the foul. Opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. Big play for Izzy Perez, who cannot complete the three-point play, however. Clippers trying to get ahead of the pack. That one up, no good off the fingertips of Carissa Tringhese, but we have a whistle and a timeout taken by Ron Mashella with 5.27 left to play here in the ball game. It is an eight-point Lisbon lead. This has been a game of runs. A few minutes ago, we mentioned that we're going to be back with you tomorrow night and hope you'll join us. We're heading over to the home of the Struthers Wildcats. It's a battle of cats. It's the Panthers from East visiting the Struthers Wildcats and we'll have it for you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. It's a special Tuesday night edition of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Should be a lot of fun. Both of those squads having stellar seasons to this point. You know, I've heard a lot of great things about East and Struthers. I'm actually real excited to see what both these teams are all about. So I hope you'll be with us tomorrow right here on my YTV. And we're still not done. We'll be back with you Friday night as well. It'll be Cardinal Mooney and Ursuline doing battle. We'll have that one for you uh, as well. So former coach Kerry Palermo coming back to uh, his yeah, old lot, stomping grounds. Lots of storylines there. Of lines, yeah. Like they need any more. <laughs> That one should be a lot of fun as well. It's going to be a great week. We're certainly off to a terrific start here tonight at Lisbon. Off the dribble, Fulham puts it up, lower the shoulder. But it's a whistle and a Lisbon foul. And right now, Columbia are doing exactly what Coach Michelle wants. And it's just textbook. Get the fouls, get yourself to the free throw line, and get points while the clock is stopped. Fulham, good. Seven-point ball game, 68-61. Fulham to try and cut it to six. She's now three for three from the free throw line. 68-62. Mason ahead of the pack to Olstrom. Olstrom in the corner, defended by Fulham. There's a Columbiana takeaway. Loose ball on the floor. Fulham manages it ahead. Great hustle. Cross scoops it up and won't go, but she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. And we see some new faces, at least one new face in there for Columbiana. Grace Hammond, another one of those freshmen, getting some minutes in crunch time. Columbiana unable to, to get some of these buckets to fall, but they're getting to the free throw line, and that's exactly what they're trying to do to cut into this lead, which is now five. And more importantly, too, Mackenzie Mason picks up her third foul. So it is 68-63. The plot thickens here at the home of the Lisbon Blue Devils. Cross misses. Ball ricochets out to Maslowski. Clippers can cut into this even more. Fulham outside the three-point line. Here is Maslowski. Those are the 50-50 balls, Chad, that you look back on and realize those that hurt get the rebound, put back, second chance, Cross takes it to the rim, chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Cross doing more damage, 448 left to play here in the ball game, 68-65, and a chance to cut even closer. Strong take, oh my! And you know, I said that early in the third quarter. You could just tell the way that she was approaching the game, the intensity, how she was able to get to the interior. She's now got 23 on the night to go along with five rebounds, four assists, and one steal. So a very productive game for Cross. Can't say enough about what head coach Jamie Entrickin's team has done. And what a way for both of these teams to continue to scratch and claw. This Lisbon squad came out here following a disappointing loss last week to Latonia. We thought there was a possibility that we'd come into this one here tonight 
with that lone loss for Lisbon coming to this Colombiana squad, which would really heighten the drama. But we've had plenty of drama anyway, haven't we? Plenty of drama. You know, you sit there and think, well, you know, no one likes to lose, but it's going to happen along the way. Sometimes it gets you to refocus. But this Lisbon basketball team has definitely been for real tonight. 68-65 is our score. Cross. Trying to cut it to a two-point deficit. And she does. 68-66. Pizzano with the ball. Ball in the hands of Bell. Tipped up into the air. Out of bounds. And it is off the fingertips of freshman Grace Hammond of Columbiana. What a situation to be in. Didn't play a lot. Now you're stepping in for some defensive effort. Hammond, great job of getting the deflection and understanding where she needs to be. There's a takeaway. Cross line lane. Foul called. Cross again. Right place, right time. Coming up big in this second half. Foul is on Allie Davis. We'll talk about some determination. Cross trying to tie this ball game up. Six for nine, now seven for 10. One point ball game, 23 points so far on the night for Alexis Cross for the tie. She's got it. And that's 26 for Cross on the night. 68-68 is her score. Perez ahead to Pisano, slicing through, and it's a whistle and a little bit too much contact as that Columbiana foul is called. A long-distance foul call from across the court. In good position right there. There's been a lot of contact on both sides with this type of offense and this type of style. First foul on Grace Hammond, the freshman. Pisano. Puts it up and knocks it in. 69-68. Pisano's been on the mark all night tonight. That's two for two from the foul line, which gives her 20 points on the night. Free throw up and good. 70-68. Oh, my. This one coming down to the wire, as we thought it probably would. Slicing through is Rovnak. This is Fulham. Now Mazalovsky floating it up. Off the rim, no good. Cleaned up, Cross sticks it back up and in. Can't say enough about Alex Cross. Fan, Alexis Cross, fantastic job. Just being in the right spot, right time. Perez penetrating. Feeds it back to Pisano. Skip pass. Olstrom off the dribble. Olstrom with a right hand, puts it up. It's too strong. Cleaned up, Mason. Up and in. Puts the foul. And Mason... She's done that the entire night. Five of six from the foul line, 17 points. It's going to give her another rebound, six rebounds. Not only offensively, defensively. Excellent job by Mason. Strong take, finish, taken on the contact. Timeout on the floor, 353 left to play in the ball game. 72-70 Lisbon on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Ready for your next new vehicle? Introducing for 2017, the Preston Advantage. Purchase any new vehicle from Preston Auto and receive a free lifetime engine warranty, free oil changes, free loaner vehicles and car washes for service, and our three-day return and exchange policy. For the best deal on your next new vehicle, visit one of our five Boardman, Ohio locations or one of our four Newcastle, PA locations. The Preston Advantage from Preston Auto. If you're hurt in a car wreck, you may have questions. Like, what's my case worth? I'm attorney Rob Nestico. Call us. We'll answer all your questions. The insurance company only offered me a few thousand dollars. The attorneys at KNR got me $85,000. That was a great answer. KNR got me $150,000 for my case. Hurt in a car? Call KNR. Fighting for Ohio's injured. Call Kissling, Nestico, and Reddick at 1 800 Hurt Now. One call does it all. 
two of the best teams in the area on the girls' side doing battle. 72-70. Mackenzie Mason trying to complete a three-point play. And she does. Comes up big all night. That gives her six to seven at the foul line. 20 points on a night. 73-70. Ball in the hands of Alexis Cross, who crosses over. Right low block, trying to draw some contact. And she walked with the basketball. Not sure about that. She got rid of the ball. Interesting call. Three-point lead for Lisbon, and we have a whistle and a foul on the inbounds. And I believe it's called on Grace Hammond. It will be a one-and-one free-throw shooting situation. It's going to turn into a free-throw shooting contest here right now. And we're down to 342 left. Izzy Perez. And both teams right now, Chad, at the free throw line. Lisbon 72 as a team. Columbia 75%. Perez off the miss, gives to Pisano. Knifing her way in. She scoops it up. It won't go. She's going to go to the free throw line, however. Trying to increase this three-point advantage. Pisano's been perfect from the free throw line. Three for three to go along with her 21 points. Zano started off the ball game red hot. 21 points, five boards, give her 22. Liz's been able to hold serve right now, doing a great job of making free throws. Pisano puts it in, it's 75-70. Closing in on three and a half to play in the fourth quarter. Columbiana at one point trailed by 12. They now trail by just five. Fulham, couple of dribbles. Into the paint, Fulham, strong. Fights it up off the rim, no good. Rebound cleaned up. It is short, but Cross is able to draw the whistle and a foul, and she'll shoot two. That Lisbon foul ta tagged to Adam Ulstrom. Cross with another rebound. Just a knack for the ball, finding the opportunity, giving her team those second chance opportunities. Knocks another free throw down, gives her nine at 12, eight rebounds, 28 points. Pretty productive night. 75-71 is our score, 317 left. Free throw for Cross, up, a little bit too strong. And the rebound is tracked down by Lisbon. Clippers trying to trap. They work it ahead to Pisano. Pisano has it knocked free. There's a steal by Maslovsky. Maslovsky, that's great hustle. Get the foul. It's going to send him to the free throw line. Well, Maslovsky is fouled by Alexa Bell. Maslovsky tonight has had a whale of a game. Quiet offensively for the most part in the second half. Just a freshman. She drills the free throw. And that and gives her five for five, Chad, yep. from the line to go along with uh, six steals in those 21 points. 75, 72. Mislovsky drills another. She's averaging four and a half steals per ball game this season to go along with more than 18 points. Off the dribble, Pisano has the ball. Ricochet out to the wing. Into the hands of Alexa Bell. Bell feeding it into the corner. There's Mason. Mason's pass almost picked off. Off the fingertips of Rovnak and out of bounds. Rovnak, great rotation. Just unable to secure the ball. Pisano has it into Mason. Mason, jump stop, nearly what? But far up and in anyway. Mason taking her time. Off the glass, four-point lead. Gives Mason 22 on the night. Maslovsky loses the handle, and it is off the foot of Maslovsky. And right now, Columbia down four. They have plenty of time, but Lisbon not panicking right now and doing their job 
just keep their composure and still continue to attack. Pisano. Lobs it ahead to Smith, who works her way out of traffic. Back to Pisano, who takes it baseline. Pisano fights it up and in, plus the foul. Pisano no longer quiet in this second half. Really starting to be the focal point. Five for five, eight and nine from two, two and two from three. 27 points on the night. And not a bigger play in the ball game than that one right there. She completes the and one opportunity. It's a seven point lead for Lisbon. Maslovsky brings it across the time stripe and into the forecourt. It is Fulham on the right wing. Top of the key, Rovnak. Bounce pass to the elbow. Here's Cross. There is contact, a whistle, and a foul. It's a Lisbon foul tag to Alexa Bell. Cross going to head to the foul line. She's making a living right now. 9 of 13 headed there. 29 points. And she's going to need a few more here. They're going to need a few defensive stops. Down seven. Cross misses the first. Back in for Lisbon. It is Autumn Olstrom. So Cross will try to split the pair. Lisbon with a seven-point lead. What a game this has been. Free throw. Ready. Aim. Fire. No good. Rebound down to Smith. Ahead to Pisano. Pisano works it back to Smith. Blue Devils have to hurry. They do manage it across. It's ahead of the pack to Mason. There's Perez. Perez puts it up and in. What you love about Lisbon, they continue to attack the basket. Mazlowski outside the three-point line. Elects not to hoist it up with good pressure-style defense. Looking for Cross, who saves it in. And the ball is saved in by Lisbon. Blue Devil basketball taken away by Fulham. Fulham races it ahead. This is Mazlowski with a right hand. Puts it up and won't go. She'll shoot two with 68 seconds remaining. Columbia has had a lot of opportunities, some runouts that they haven't been able to finish to get the and one. And that's happened more than once tonight. Lisbon, minute eight, want to talk about it? Timeout. So Lisbon now has just one timeout remaining. Columbiana has two. We're down to 108 left to play. And this is exactly the game we thought we would have, Chad. Say, tonight's high school basketball game of the week is being streamed live at WKBN.com. Download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long. And you'll also find high school scores, stories, highlights. Download the WKBN mobile app today. Currently on WKBN.com, there's a great story as we showcase the ITCL. And we've had a number of young ladies who have scored their 1,000th one career point. And they are highlighted. We'll check that story out online at WKBN.com. One of those is wearing white tonight, and it is Carly Pisano. And she did it the last time that these two teams faced off earlier this month. I can't believe where we are in terms of the calendar. Tournament play is just weeks away. Right around the corner, Chad. I can't tell you how many people talk to me about the live stream, the live games. They absolutely love it. Coach Doc Shivers watching right now. Everybody enjoys it, Chad. It's, it's, it's a great opportunity for everybody to showcase basketball in the area. And those who are taking this one in tonight are seeing a good one. Boy, oh boy. 82-74. And now 82-75. 108 left. And there's very quickly a foul called on Grace Hammond of Columbiana. It's going to send Izzy Perez to the free throw line. And Perez is a 39% free throw shooter, so... You're fouling the right person. Yep. We're going to see if she's able to knock a few down. Free throw up. Free throw no good. And that's just fantastic coaching there by Columbiana. 
understanding who they want to put at the foul line. Great scouting. Perez drills the second one, and it's 83-75. Clippers will have to hurry it now. Three ball in the air from the left wing. It's an air ball from Cross. And it'll stay with Columbiana with an even 60 seconds remaining. Columbiana coming into this one undefeated at 19 and 0. Maslowski off the dribble. There's a reach in foul. It's going to be called on Lisbon's Chloe Smith. So again, another opportunity for Columbiana to inch ever closer. Maslowski, eight for eight from the stripe, and we just jinxed her eight for nine. Look at the kibosh there. Maslowski trying to split the pair and make it 83-76. Free throw up and good. You got to create turnovers and possessions. Near takeaway. Ends up in the hands of Pisano. Carly Pisano works it onto the wing. There's a takeaway. Mariah Rovnak to the line, to the lane. Puts it up and won't go. Well, she'll go to the free throw line with 43 seconds remaining. Exactly how you draw it up. Get the turnover, contact foul, try to get the run out. If not, get yourself to the free throw line and knock a few down. Free throw up. Good. 83-77. Three for five from the line is Mariah Rovnak. Ready, aim, fire, good. 83-78. Timeout called. As we're taking this one down to the wire. It is a five-point Lisbon lead. Head coach Ron Michella encouraging his young ladies. What a coaching career he has had. He's led his Clippers to 19 wins. Meanwhile, Lisbon head coach Jamie Entrican trying to end that unbeaten slate here tonight. 43 seconds away. So on display, we have some of the best basketball players on the girls' side in the area. And you need to head to WKBN.com and nominate who you think the top high school basketball players are from in and around the area. It is the starting five. Head over to WKBN.com and click starting five under the sports tab. Already so many boys and girls players have been nominated, several of which are on the floor for both sides tonight, and there's plenty more. Send your nominations. Once again, WKBN.com. Click on starting five under sports. You know, a lot of people, I'm sure, look at Coach Michella and probably think he's an acquired taste but you talk to so many people, and his girls love him. They man. love him. You're right. Ball is into Pisano. See what the Clippers elect to do. Chloe Smith is fouled by Muslovsky. Down to 36.1 seconds left. That's her third foul. One for two from the line is Chloe Smith. Free throw up, no good. There's still a lot of time left, Will. Each team, by the way, with one timeout remaining. And Columbiana has the possession arrow, and they're going to get the ball down, down five, with an opportunity to cut into this. Cross, penetrating, drawing the contact. She'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. Cross really has executed the game plan and what Coach Michella wanted her to do. Attack get to the foul line, and that's going to be fifth on Mason. That's a pretty good game and effort from her tonight. And they're going to try to talk a little bit about it. Coach, uh, get the explanation there from Toder. Um, I don't think either one of them is going to be in agreement. They're probably going to agree to disagree right there. So that'll do it for Mackenzie Mason, who was electric here tonight. Really doing a magnificent job. And she's going to end Chad with 22 points, five rebounds, two assists. Fantastic job. All around great game. Alexis Cross 
It is set. Free throw up, no good. It's a big miss. Cross is now nine for 16 from the line. She splits the pair, and it's a four point game, 83-79. Ball is in the hands of Smith. They work it over to Bell. Clippers trying to create another turnover. It is lobbed ahead, knocked out of bounds, and it's going to stay here off Fulham. That'd be a great one to check out on replay. In any event, it'll be Lisbon basketball. Pisano looking, looking, lobbing. There's a takeaway by Cross. Line, line, up, off the front edge. No good. Very close to being an and one opportunity. And that's the one they haven't been able to finish. Again, ball doesn't lie. They get the turnover anyway. They've got to be able to capitalize on that one. Just that close, Chad. Cross puts it up. Short. Ron Michella beside himself. 10 of 18. She's missed several on the back end here uh, that have definitely been costly, but great job of getting to the line. Free throw up and good, and it's 83-80. Columbiana calls a timeout. Clippers are now out of timeouts. And we're down to 13.9 seconds remaining. Chad Krasminski, Will Klusenik back with you. Take me into each respective huddle and what each head coach is saying to his group. Well, right now, Lisbon, you've got to secure the ball. You've got one timeout. You've got to make sure everyone's an available receiver. If you're in doubt, don't. Make them fire you, get to the free throw line, and get yourself some points there. If you're Columbiana, you've got to trap quick. You've got to give yourself an opportunity to get the steal. You're going to have to overplay, but you can't give up something long, something easy. You don't have any timeouts, so you're going to have to score quick. Get yourself a foul where you can get the clock stopped, because by the time it's going to take them to get the ball out, get it back in, you might run out of time. 83-80 is our score. 13.9 seconds left. White knuckle time here in Lisbon. Pisano with the ball. Over to Smith. A quick foul. Maslowski commits the personal. And they let a lot of time run off that clock there. More than four seconds. They could have got a quick foul as soon as the ball went in. Chloe Smith to the free throw line. By the way, that's the fourth foul on Kayla Maslowski. Free throw up. No good. Smith trying to split the pair. She's one for five from the free throw line tonight. Keep in mind, Columbiana is out of timeouts. Free throw up. Off. No good. Clippers have a chance. Pull him up the floor. Over to Maslowski. Out of bounds. With 4.1 seconds left. And this is why you practice special situations. You know exactly the play you're running, who's getting the look. You need a three. 4.1 seconds left. Mariah Rovnak has it into cross. Firing for three. She knocked it down. And we're tied at the buzzer. Unbelievable. She's been big all night and in this second half. Great footwork. Understanding, composure, bang. Hugs, smiles, all abound. Ron Michelle is not smiling just yet, though. No, he's not going to crack one for a while, I don't think. But now you've got to regroup your team. Lisbon, everyone's got to focus. Get yourself some water. We're in for some bonus basketball. 83, 83 is our score. We are heading to overtime. That was an unbelievable, huge triple from the corner, courtesy of Alexis Cross. 
bonus basketball, and why not? And Four you, more minutes tonight. And you look at it, Chad. I'm not sure what her career high is, but right now she's got 34, and none bigger than this three to send it in at overtime and possibly continue this undefeated season. I'm not sure she can believe it, Chad. <laughs> You always like to see how teams can regroup now, refocus, and try to kind of get themselves back on track. We're going to see which teams are going to be able to do it better.